Hi, Micro Pontry here again, and today I would like to explain to you the term conjugate distance because I received again uh, some emails and some questions about that uh, because some of my YouTube viewers they wanted to know which type of objective microscope objective to buy and uh, they found two different versions uh, those with a conjugate distance of 195 millimeters and those with a conjugate distance of 185 millimeters and I would like to explain to you now today in this video what this actually means first of all um, to clarify I will not be talking about so-called infinity objectives rather I'm going to be talking about um, objectives that have the so-called the 160 millimeter standard and you know that you have those objectives because it's printed on here. I have to now rotate this a little bit and it's not visible. But if you rotate it says here very small 160. I don't know if you're able to read this. And, and this 160 is a very common standard and this refers uh, to the distance uh, from the mi um, microscope um, objective all the way so where it's uh, connected uh, to the revolving nose piece all the way to the place where the eyepiece is okay and this is a so the so called the 160 millimeter um, standard so if you were to measure out the light path um, all the way up here through the prism of course you have to consider the prism as well um, and uh, because I've got a binocular microscope that's why um, all the way then um, to the place uh, where the, uh, the eyepiece rests this is uh, 160 millimeters um, and now what does this have to do how do we get from there to the 185 millimeters or the 195 millimeters of the conjugate distance and this the conjugate distance is the so-called the uh, the object distance and this means that the distance from the object I'm gonna lift up the camera again here so from the slide here from the object all the way up to the place where the image is projected so we're not talking about the place where the eyepiece rests here okay but the image is projected around 10 millimeters down into the tube okay and this distance 10 millimeters down into the tube here um, all the way down to the um, object uh, here this is the conjugate distance and there are two versions uh, 185 and 195 as I already mentioned and now the question is now how do you know if you want to buy yourself a new objective what your conjugate distance is because it's not printed anywhere but that is relatively easy to find out the reason is you don't want to mix uh, objectives. So if you have a 195 conjugate distance objectives, then you also want to make sure that the other objective also has the same conjugate distance. Otherwise, you have to refocus and uh, or the size won't match. So very easy. Well, all you have to do is, is you have to maybe take a piece of paper like this here, and you have to measure out the distance from the slide here, okay, from the slide all the way to the place where the um, yeah object objective it connects here so from here all the way down okay and if this distance is 45 millimeters then you have a conjugate distance of 195 and why is this 45 millimeters plus the 160 millimeters um, of the 160 millimeter standard minus the 10 millimeters because the image is projected 10 millimeters down here Okay, and this gives you 195. So I've got here a 195 um, uh, a conjugate distance of 195 millimeters. If your microscope uh, has a 185 millimeters um, uh, objectives of conjugate distance, then this is gonna distance is gonna be shorter here. Okay, a whole full centimeter. And then uh, if you basically um, are going to put in a short, it's like a short barrel uh, objective. If you put this then in, um, then um, what you have to do is you have to lower it uh, one by one centimeter every time when you switch uh, the, the objectives because the, the distance is, is, is lower okay so that is uh, basically the uh, a short uh, yeah, explanation here but uh, the measurement uh, of this distance here the 45 millimeters in my case of course you only measure out when the image is in focus okay and don't forget to put in a slide because this also um, is uh, about one or one and a half millimeters thick okay um, but uh, yeah I have uh, 45 millimeters here so that means I have uh, 45 millimeters plus 100 60 minus 10 is 195 okay so the uh, those objectives with a conjugate distance of 185 they are a little bit shorter um, even though they're um, they're still 160 millimeter standard because they still project the image 160 uh, yeah the distance is still from here to here 160 millimeters okay I think uh, I hope that this was 
clarifying the whole thing a little bit. Unfortunately, uh, many microscope vendors do not uh, really indicate what the conjugate distance is, but in most cases, it's uh, pr the, probably the 195 um, millimeter conjugate distance because the 45 millimeters here is very common and is actually also a standard. Well, I think that's enough for today. I wish you all the best. Happy micro hunting. Please subscribe to the channel if you liked it and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.